What's up guys? I'm back today with another video and in today's video we're going to be playing college football coach Now I know it has been a hot minute since I have uploaded any videos. I know it's been a couple of years I don't know the exact date off the top of my head But I decided I wanted to come back to YouTube playing a different game So I know before I was making men mobile videos uh, but I really, the reason I guess I stopped uploading was because I stopped enjoying the game, wasn't having fun, and obviously you could tell that in the, in the videos that I was making, I clearly wasn't enjoying the content that I was producing, and so people who are watching weren't enjoying the content that I was producing, so, uh, I decided I want to come back years later and <laughs> upload a different game, uh, so anyways, let's get started, not gonna ramble too long, I'm gonna say a few things really quickly. If you guys hear any background noise, my cat is running around everywhere. And then I think my neighbor's mowing his lawn. So I'm sorry if you guys hear that in the background, but hopefully it's not too bad. So anyways, let's get started here. Start new save. We're gonna play career mode. If you guys have, I'm gonna be playing on easy because again, I haven't explained this, but uh, I have played this game through one season playing with Alabama, which is the best team in the game. They're 95 prestige. Um, so yeah, I don't have a lot of experience. I just want to kind of get a hang of things and how the game worked. Uh, but I don't have a lot of experience. So um, yeah, anyways, the team that I'm going to be picking, I was thinking about Boston State. There's also the worst team in the game is American Samoa, Samoa at 25 prestige. But as much as I want to pick them, I do think I'm going to pick Maine. So anyways, let's get started. See what our team, our player's name is and, or our coach's name is going to be. We get Bradley Gurton. Bradley Gurton. He's a 38, 48 overall or 48 age. We're going to do 32 because that's the youngest. And we're going to be the talent, the player's coach. No, we'll be, okay, we'll stick with that. 32 years old and we will get started with the game. So in today's video, I'm probably going to play through uh, six games, probably six or seven games, probably halfway through the season, about halfway through the season. And in episode two, I will play through the rest of the first season and all of the second season, most likely, is the plan. Uh, now, f I guess I'll kind of go into when I'm planning on uploading and uploading the upload schedule and stuff like that and what videos I plan on making and games and stuff like that. Uh, and then we'll go into our depth chart and check out our team. But my plan is to try to upload about two to three times a week. And I really enjoy this game. But obviously, I'm not going to stick to one game on the channel. I'm trying to stick to about two to three games on the channel. And I absolutely think this is going to be a really fun game. So I'm really excited to start this. But I, obviously, I do want to include another game on the channel. And I think I'm going to head back to Madden Mobile and upload some Madden Mobile 20. I know Madden Mobile 21 and Madden 21 on console are right around the corner. I think they're coming out end of August, somewhere around then. But I think I'm going to be playing some career mode or the seasons mode on Madden 20. I haven't played a lot of Madden 20, so I'm excited to kind of get back into the game. But I'm trying to stick away from their like ultimate team kind of aspect and just play kind of like their career mode stuff. So anyways, that's the plan. So I'm probably going to sit down and record a couple of videos right now and get everything all set and I'll upload the videos. I'm not sure when. Today's Friday when I'm recording the video, so I'm hoping maybe I'll get it out Sunday morning, somewhere around then. And I'll try to upload like twice next week and we'll kind of slot into a perfect uh, upload schedule from there. But anyways, let's get started. Our team is terrible. We're a, first of all, we're 13 and a half point underdog against Michigan State. Projections. Uh, right. So media members recently released their predictions for 2020. And they set the bar very low for Maine this season, predicting they'll finish near the bottom of the North with a 2 and 10 regular season record. Regular being spelt wrong, but we'll be on that. Uh, so our schedule, check who we are a favorite over. We are a, only a one-point underdog against MFB. What is that? Murphy's Murfreesboro. Uh, and then who are, are we favored against anybody? Okay, I think Oxford push. Ooh, whoops. Um, and then we're a seven-and-a-half-point favorite against Vermont. So we are a 50 prestige, 68 overall, 66 uh, offensive table, and Offensive talent and 66, 69 defense. Wow, I can't talk. Check out our de our uh, depth chart. Wow, our quarterback's a freshman, though. I actually think that's not bad. F potential. Okay, maybe that's not great. 60 overall. Our running back is a senior, so he's going to be solid this year. 
We got three wide receivers that aren't too bad, but one of them is a senior, two of them are juniors. We got a tight end that's eh. Offensive line is eh. <laughs> and then our defensive line is not too bad. Linebackers are a little questionable. Same with our cornerbacks. Jeez. Got a good safety, though. Senior safety, though. And we got a, another senior backing him up. So we got a lot of improvements to make. Uh, what are we going to do? So we'll check over here. 70 overall rating. Six years left on our contract. Or six years, five left on the contract after this year, obviously. So we're going to check out our playbooks, our offensive playbooks. And I really think our running game is going to be good. I almost want to pick Smash Mouth, but our... Um, These are the archetypes that um, that are needed. Wrecking Ball is not what our running back is. We don't have a West Coast. is probably not what we want to do. I don't think we should center around our quarterback because he is a 60 overall. So spread is not the option. Um, I'm thinking either run uh, flex bone option or potentially smash mouth. But I think I might go flex bone option and see how that goes. So we'll pick that defensively we're running a 4-3 kind of a standard defense here uh we could do a 3-3-5 ish ish says we'll allow fewer explosive pass plays and passing yards but allow short gains underneath on the ground i think i might pick the 4-6 bay yeah we'll go with that we'll go with that and we'll see how the team goes um, offensive ability D plus, defensive ability D plus, talent progression and is a B. Let's check out more detail. C potential. Anyways, let's get started. Game number one against Michigan State. We are projected to go two and ten. Let's see what we can do. Same game. I expect a very big loss here against Michigan State. Yeah, forty five to nothing against Michigan State. They are the twenty third ranked team in the country. Ohio, number one. Alabama, number two. Zero points. Let's head into week two. We're playing New Jersey, eighth in the country. They are we're they're twenty five and a half point underdog or oh, favorite, not underdog. We are a twenty five and a half point, and we score nothing again. So zero points through our two, first two games. We are a fifty five and a half point underdog against Pennsylvania. Are you kidding me? Seventeen nothing. We are three games in the season. And we haven't done anything. Can we check what our offense is doing? Let's check. Oh, we can't check that. Okay. Let's check what his stats are. 83 carries, 233, zero touchdowns, obviously. Where's our quarterback passing the ball? He's 13 for 44 for 68 yards, one and a half yards in attempt, four interceptions. Oh, my goodness. Can we change this playbook? Flexbone option is not what we should do. Uh, he shouldn't even be throwing the ball at all. Uh, jeez. I might pick, let's try Smash Mouth. I guess there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can lose in a, in a season that's kind of an L already. Playing against Maryland, we're a 36 and a half point underdog. I guess the goal right now is to score points. Six points, guys. Six points. That is, that is good. Six points. That's probably two field goals, no touchdowns. Anyways, let's head into the next week against Murfreesboro. We're only in a nine-point and nine point underdog, and we won our first win of the year. That is huge. That is huge. We shut them out, too. Let's see what we did. 139, 91 pass yards, 102 on the ground, 5 for 13, Jeez, 26 carries for 74 yards. That is a lot of carries. Uh, yeah, just a regular kind of... It looks like we dominated, but we still suck. So one in four, guys. Who are we playing next? We got Pittsburgh, seven and a half point underdog. Let's sim this game. See what we can do. 17 nothing. All right, guys, so, wow, next we're playing New York State, 34.5-point underdog. They are 6-0. and oh. Obviously, they're the number two team in the country, and they just crushed Boston. Crushed Boston. Uh, so, yeah, I don't see a lot of things happening for us here. 
But uh, so that's probably going to be the end of episode one. We did win a, win a game. We are one in five. Let's check out the rest of the season. Okay, we have 34 and a half points and five and a half against, who is this? Washington, D.C. Probably should have known that one. And then we're a two and a half point favor over Vermont. So there's a chance we might win maybe two more games if we're lucky. But looking like a prediction of two and 10 is pretty on spot. But we played one, two, three ranked teams, which pretty crazy. 13th ranked team, fifth ranked and then we're up here playing the number two team in the country. So we had a tough season. We got a lot of improvements to make in this offseason, but that is going to be the end of episode one. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I uh, really enjoyed this game. I think it's going to be a ton of fun, so I'm excited to record these videos. But I will go end this video off. I'm going to go record episode two probably right now, and then uh, we'll go from there and see what happens. So Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. For whoever clicked on the video, I appreciate all you guys. Um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed or a comment if you have any feedback. I would love to hear back from anybody. And obviously, subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in keeping up to date with some new videos. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to end up this video. Just want to say thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.